It's Wild 94.1, wild941.com, Joey Franchise, Poppy Shampoo here with the T.O.'s very own, the beautiful Jesse Reyes. What's up, girl? <laughs> I'm good, man. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Hey, I'm 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 sad because I didn't get to interview you before uh, when you came down for uh, last damn show uh, last year at the end of the and what was it November that you came yes. down? You held it down, did the damn thing. Thank you. And let me tell you, when you performed Gatekeepers, I was like, yo, this girl is she's got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But yo, you have this new record out right now called Body Count. Let's talk all about it. Yeah, it's about it's about loving who you want to love and kind of yeah, just kind of not caring about other people opinions or judgments they're not living your life and they're not paying your bills so if they're giving you opinions you don't need you could just dodge that shit um it's also about like my perspective as a female because i feel like women if we want to be that free with our love and and we want to move how we want to move i feel like we get judged a lot differently than males do and i don't think it's fair since we all bleed the same and you know we all got hearts we all breathe the same so why should I be chastised more if something that we're both doing? No, I definitely feel you on that. And I want to ask, like, have you ever been that girl to ask the guy that you're dating about his body count and the girls he's been with? About a body count? Not so much a body count. More so about whether or not someone's honest or whether or not someone's faithful. You know, I feel like that's a different thing. Like, if you're doing shit, just be honest and open about what you're doing. There shouldn't be problems. But then that that's, that's kind of up to yourself. Like, that's why body count isn't just about whether or not you want to have, like, completely free love and, like, be with who you want to be with and not care about people's judgments. But it's also if you want to be alone, you know? For anybody that's a virgin, like a 25, 35, 45-year-old virgin that's feeling precious because of today's society, like, fuck everybody, man. You could, if you're happy, if you're happy with whatever it is you're doing behind closed doors and you're happy with it and you're not hurting anybody, then I feel like that should be okay, you know? It's not just about that. It's not just caring about body kind of about being happy and okay and, and like standing in your truth you know i agree with that jesse ray is here it's wild 94 one uh and in the song you also talk about dodging dick on a daily girl how lit are your dms <laughs> they're lit <laughs> <laughs> they're hella lit they're funny man they make me smile they make me laugh do people still not care? No, like nobody ever. It seems like like nobody probably just gives a shit that that you know you're a star and you are who you are right now. Like they still they still send you all these crazy DMs. That's funny. Thanks for calling me a star. That's sweet because I feel like I'm still definitely working for a lot of shit that I want to accomplish. But yes, I still get a lot of those. <laughs> I mean, I'd be kind of intimidated. I can't just be stepping. I can't shoot my shot with somebody of you know that caliber. No, jeez, thanks. No, I'm, I'm very, you know, I'm very, I'm, I'm pretty shy, yo. When it, you know, what I mean, I don't really do the DM things. You know, what I mean, I, I read too much into stuff. Are you with somebody? Do you have, do you have a partner? Actually, I'm newly single. Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, so we on the market. Hey, we out here. <laughs> if you're shy, I'm sure this is gonna help. This will give you a boost. You know, now you'll have some people popping in your DM. Oh, I, I would, I need that, and I appreciate that alley oop. You, you a real one for that. You like Chris <laughs> Paul? I respect you for that. I got you, I got you. And yeah, you are a star, girl. Like, I mean, congratulations. You just got, what, a Juno Award, like, a couple months ago? Oh, man, thank you. Yes, yes, I did. That's all. How did that feel? Like, especially, you know, being from Canada. Hella dope, man. It felt sick. I felt really happy. I had my family up on stage with me, too, so that was dope. My family and my team came up with me. It was dope. It was unbelievable. I was humbled. And it's dope, because your family was actually at the concert for Last Damn Show. Uh, you, you actually lived in Florida. Yeah. Out there. And uh, Jesse, uh, we also kn- saw that you worked with uh, Russ on Basement, um, which is pretty interesting to me because you know Russ don't really do features like that, and he he makes that very no- very known. So how did that collab happen? Oh man, I, like years ago, like maybe two years ago, we I had um, a showing in New York for yeah, well, it was before Kiddo, I think, and we just knew mutual people, and someone was like, oh, like. I really fuck with Russ, and I was like, oh, Russ really fuck with you, and he happened to be in the city, so we linked. And then we held on to the song a minute, which kind of made it dope, because we had a lot of people saying, like, you have to make this song together, you have to make this song together. So it was cool to, like, build up that build up that anticipation. Yeah, he's dope, man. He's sick, hella positive. Really, what what it is is what you get, you know? But right. He's dope. 
more one of the most motivational people I ever met, man. And, and, and it's cool because it's crazy because like I mean I I met him too and he he's he's a real down to earth guy and like you know he catches all this flack on social media so it's like I mean why do you think is that is just do you think he's more of an acquired taste type of thing? No, I think that he's super confident and I think that sometimes when people lack that confidence, it's hard to view someone. In a positive light, if you're you're reflecting your own insecurities when you dislike something in someone, you know. Respect. And that's what I think. I don't know. I don't know why. You know, but I don't know why. But I feel like that's, that's something I recognize in myself. Like if sometimes I feel like I don't like something in somebody, I try to like stop myself and be like, well, why don't you like that in them? And because there should be a reason. You know what I mean? And you shouldn't really be hating on people you don't know. You're just judging based off what you see on the screen. I don't think that's fair either. But it's the nature of the beast. He's dope. He's hella, hella dope. And I was hella, hella grateful that he went to work with me. That was dope what you just said. Those are real bars. Those are those are legit bars right there. For you. <laughs> and so the body count is going to be on the upcoming project. You know, what's the status on that? Oh, man, I've been working. I'm still working. You know, just building, just trying to polish it off, make it perfect. But it's coming. Any crazy surprises? Uh, I don't know. I know you probably got that thing G14 classified, so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Francis slid into the DM. He newly single. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> Body counts the single. Jesse Reyes, I appreciate you calling in, love. Thank you. Thank you. I have fun, man. Thank you for having me. Hey, I'm looking forward to more music from you and uh, hopefully seeing you on uh, the stage over here in Tampa very, very soon. So. Oh, yeah. Shout out Florida. Shout out Toronto. Hello, Joey. Thank you.